Beijing-based coffee company. Do you think people in China are out and about in the streets right now if, if this, the virus is so bad? But the stock's not dropping. That's, that's mm. so much information there. The stock's just consolidating. Um, so I think once it gets through this like 40, 40, 75 area, put a nice high today, uh, 40, 75, 41, I think this thing explodes back to highs. I mean, the, their growth is insane off the charts. And again, I don't expect to hear about this coronavirus one year from now. So I think mm -hmm. this LK is a screaming buy through this 41 area. Screaming. Nice. All right. Screaming. <laughs> All right. So I think we, we wrapped it up. I think we can get into uh, good trade, bad trade. Um, yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, there's two, two different, there's two things to do in this environment. And, and since I'm, I'm lucky enough to have two accounts, I can, one, expand my time frame in my long-term account. And then I could shrink my time frame in my short-term account. So like I was saying, I bought Amazon Thursday and Friday, uh, just dollar cost average into it. I don't have a stop on that because I, have, I actually have a 20-year time horizon on that. Um, and then today I traded this team, uh, and I'll show you how I did it. So this team is uh, – when we get in these, these, air, these times of uncertainty, you know, charts largely go out the window. I'm not as focused on getting the best price, getting the – you know buying through this perfect resistance area. I want to be near the strongest stocks and trading those names. So this team, you know, we can see all last week, this thing was just fighting to stay alive. Someone kept buying this thing while the broad market, we can see was a fucking disaster. So <clears throat> what I want to see is I want to watch how the market opens. And if I see some buying off the open, like we saw the spy today come in and flush. Oh, come on. All right, that's not going to give me that. We saw, we saw the SPY pretty much um, go sideways off the open, and then it finally started moving higher throughout the day. Uh, and then when we had that turn is when I, when I went for that team buy. Now, this isn't something I'm never going to take when we have a trending market because I'm not trading off levels. I'm trading off an intraday low. I'm just going towards a strong name. So I bought this 144, mm -hmm. 144 quarter uh, just against lows, 142 half, I believe it was. So I kicked some 148, 147, and I'm getting those like two to one kicks off. And then I gave, I gave the rest of my stock like some room to breathe if it wanted to go. Didn't really do anything. And then I just get out of that at the end of the day. Um, I don't really want to be holding things overnight in my active account right now uh, because these gaps are just – we're going to start seeing – we're going to continue to see these crazy gaps. So, you know, I'm shrinking my time frame in my active account, expanding my time frame in the long-term account. Um, and I think that's, that's a good way to stay safe. I'm, again, these times when you're an active trader – for me, there, there are a lot of times, a lot of guys will talk about who are like the tough guy traders who are like, oh, I love volatility. Cool. That's cool. I'm glad you love volatility. I love killing it when it's really fucking easy. That's what the last four months were. Yeah. Swing trading environment. Yeah. You just buy a breakout. You set your stop at lows and you just ride that out until it turns and you take some profit on the way up. Things like that. This, this, this chop shit is very difficult. There, there is a lot of opportunity, so I'm still going to be trading while I'm in front of my computer, but I'm shrinking my size down and um, – and shrinking my time frame down, and that's that's really you know the best way I handle these personally. Mm -hmm. um, what do you got for me? Um, I mean, for me, again, during these times, again, we're not really looking to worry about these corrections because again, we, we, I saw these headlines like the worst weeks in 2008. And if you flip that in reverse and you think about that, in the last 10 years is the worst week. So we've had 500 other weeks that have been this much like that much better than this last week. So it's like if you can focus on the bigger picture, it's much easier. But for me, when these Times do get a little bit rocky. The large cap, the Dow 30, those tend to be the safest places to be because they're the biggest companies. They're not going to get as banged up. Right. So a lot of the trades this week, um, I'll run through a couple. We got Travelers. Um, I bought up through 120, uh, 123. Again, we're never trying to catch the bottom. I'm trying to buy on the way up after it comes in. So, you know, Travelers sold off, you know, 20, 30 points in a couple of days. And I want to just buy above the prior day's high, and that's what it did today. And now it's up, you know, a couple bucks from the entry. Uh, Merck was another one. Merck sold off from 92 at highs down to 74. Had a doji at lows, which was on Friday. And today kind of... We got oh, that follow through. Yeah, we got the follow through again. Same thing. Bought about the high day. Bought about 78, which is the prior day's high day. And now it's up a couple bucks. It's up like 6% today. Oh, probably 10% since Friday. Um, again, we're going to go into... What's the other one? Dow, another one. Dow kind of got spun off, so their chart's a little funky because they're not really newish IPO. They just changed tickers like a dozen times. This one, they took out at the two-week lows. Again, typically not a sign when we want to get into a stock, but again, it's a Dow 30. And same story. Took out lows on the way up, bought up through 40. Um, so it's very similar repetitive theme where I'm not trying to catch any bottoms. I'm just buying on the way up. 
Um, again, bad trade was probably this Amazon. Still in it, didn't do anything but just giving back those 400 points. Definitely not the funnest thing in the world. Still in, same stop. Um, now, for me, I definitely cannot sell if it gets back to 2150 this next time because that's usually when it's probably going to add higher. So for me, that was just kind of sitting um, really for bad trades. Um, I really didn't do much other than these buy stops that triggered. Maybe for this IDXX, I got them a little bit too early. Um, so I bought up, I think it was on Thursday through 264. And again, it was two days too early. And I, But again, I added yesterday through that 250. So I'm kind of bringing that average cost down. And then if it wants to go through 290 months on the road, I'll have you know kind of really good stock. Um, so that's that's what I got for this. I think uh, I, I'm just going to run through a quick important lesson. Um, so times like this, <laughs> so when we're in like the trending environment, I'm going to go balls to walls with research. I'm going to search through every name I can, try to find the perfect bull flag. But in times like this, I'm just gravitating towards the best in breed. The reason I went to team, I was thinking software name, not as um, – not as susceptible to anything China related. They don't have much business over there. But um, the ones that bounced back the hardest were this Microsoft, were this Apple, were this Amazon. All these names that have been the strongest name leading the market higher. Those are the best in breed. Those are the ones you want to see bounce back first. So in times like this, it's like if you're going to trade, gravitate towards the best stocks. You know, the Shopify's of the world that didn't really let you in. But now they're letting you in because the market just dropped 15% a week or so. So for mm -hmm. me, it's like these times it's not – the research isn't isn't the most important thing like it is in the trending environment. For me, it's focusing on the best in breed and uh, getting those names to when they bounce back with the market. So I just think that's yeah. a quick important lesson. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. And you see uh, it, like Apple was, look at Apple today. Nuts the past two days. Mm -hmm. You know, 256 to 302. That's nice. Yeah. Lucky, um, 